In Newtonian mechanics, linear momentum, translational momentum, or simply momentum place momenta is the product of the mass and velocity of an object. It is a vector quantity, possessing a magnitude and a direction in three-dimensional space. If m is an object's mass and v is the velocity also a vector, then the momentum is p equals m v In SI units, it is measured in kilogram meters per second, kilogram meter per second. Newton's second law of motion states that a body's rate of change in momentum is equal to the net force acting on it. Momentum depends on the frame of reference, but in any inertial frame it is a conserved quantity, meaning that if a closed system is not affected by external forces, its total linear momentum does not change. Momentum is also conserved in special relativity with a modified formula and, in a modified form, in electrodynamics, quantum mechanics, quantum field theory, and general relativity. It is an expression of one of the fundamental symmetries of space and time, translational symmetry. Advanced formulations of classical mechanics, Lagrangian and Hamiltonian mechanics, allow one to choose coordinate systems that incorporate symmetries and constraints. In these systems the conserved quantity is generalized momentum, and in general this is different from the kinetic momentum defined above. The concept of generalized momentum is carried over into quantum mechanics, where it becomes an operator on a wave function. The momentum and position operators are related by the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. In continuous systems such as electromagnetic fields, fluids and deformable bodies, a momentum density can be defined, and a continuum version of the conservation of momentum leads to equations such as the Navier–Stokes equations for fluids or the Cauchy momentum equation for deformable solids or fluids. Newtonian Momentum is a vector quantity, it has both magnitude and direction. Since momentum has a direction, it can be used to predict the resulting direction and speed of motion of objects after they collide. Below, the basic properties of momentum are described in one dimension. The vector equations are almost identical to the scalar equations see multiple dimensions. Single particle. The momentum of a particle is conventionally represented by the letter p. It is the product of two quantities, the particle's mass represented by the letter m and its velocity v. p equals m v. Display style p equals mv. The unit of momentum is the product of the units of mass and velocity. In SI units, if the mass is in kilograms and the velocity is in meters per second then the momentum is in kilogram meters per second, kilogram meter per second. In CGS units, if the mass is in grams and the velocity in centimeters per second, then the momentum is in gram centimeters per second, g centimeter per second. Being a vector, momentum has magnitude and direction. For example, a 1 kg model airplane, traveling due north at 1 m per second in straight and level flight, has a momentum of 1 kg m per second due north measured with reference to the ground. <laughs> Many particles The momentum of a system of particles is the vector sum of their momenta. If two particles have respective masses m1 and m2, and velocities v1 and v2, the total momentum is p equals p1 plus p2 equals m1 v1 plus m2 v2. Display style begin aligned p and equals p underscore one plus p underscore two and equals m underscore one v underscore one plus m underscore two v underscore two. End aligned. The momenta of more than two particles can be added more generally with the following p equals Equals I M I V I display style p equals sum underscore I M underscore I V underscore I. A system of particles has a center of mass, a point determined by the weighted sum of their positions. R C M equals M one R one plus M two R two plus m 1 plus m 2 plus equals i m 
I R I I M I Display style R underscore text CM equals FRAC M underscore one R underscore one plus M underscore two R underscore two plus C D O T S M underscore one plus M underscore two plus C D O T S equals FRAC sum limits underscore I M underscore I R underscore I sum limits underscore I M underscore I if all the particles are moving, the center of mass will generally be moving as well unless the system is in pure rotation around it. If the center of mass is moving at velocity vcm, the momentum is p equals m v cm. Display style p equals mv underscore text cm. This is known as Euler's first law. Topic: Relation to force. If the net force applied to a particle is a constant f and is applied for a time interval delta t, the momentum of the particle changes by an amount delta p equals f delta t. Display style delta p equals f delta t. In differential form, this is Newton's second law. The rate of change of the momentum of a particle is equal to the instantaneous force F acting on it. F equals d p d t. Display style F equals frac d p d t. If the net force experienced by a particle changes as a function of time, f t, the change in momentum or impulse j between times t1 and t2 is delta p equals j equals t1 t2 f t d t Display style delta p equals j equals int underscore t underscore one caret t underscore two f t d t. Impulse is measured in the derived units of the Newton second one n s. Topic one kilogram meter per second or dyne second one dyne s. 1 gram meter per second. Under the assumption of constant mass m, it is equivalent to write f equals d m v d t equals m d v d t equals m a Display style f equals frac d m v d t equals m frac d v d t equals ma. Hence, the net force is equal to the mass of the particle times its acceleration. Example: A model airplane of mass one kilogram accelerates from rest to a velocity of six meters per second due north in two s. The net force required to produce this acceleration is three newtons due north. The change in momentum is six kilograms meter per second. The rate of change of momentum is 3 kilogram meter per second s equals 3 n equals topic conservation topic in a closed system one that does not exchange any matter with its surroundings and is not acted on by external forces the total momentum is constant. This fact, known as the law of conservation of momentum, is implied by Newton's laws of motion. Suppose, for example, that two particles interact. Because of the third law, the forces between them are equal and opposite. If the particles are numbered 1 and 2, the second law states that F1 dp1 dt and f2 equals dp2 dt therefore d p1 d t equals minus d p2 
2 d t display style frac dp underscore 1 dt equals frac dp underscore 2 dt with the negative sign indicating that the forces oppose equivalently d d t p 1 plus p 2 equals 0 Display style frac d dt left p underscore one plus p underscore two right equals zero. If the velocities of the particles are u one and u two before the interaction, and afterwards they are v one and v two, then m one u one plus m two u two equals m 1 v 1 plus m 2 v 2 display style m underscore 1 u underscore 1 plus m underscore 2 u underscore 2 equals m underscore 1 v underscore 1 plus m underscore 2 v underscore 2 this law holds no matter how complicated the forces between particles Similarly, if there are several particles, the momentum exchanged between each pair of particles adds up to zero, so the total change in momentum is zero. This conservation law applies to all interactions, including collisions and separations caused by explosive forces. It can also be generalized to situations where Newton's laws do not hold, for example in the theory of relativity and in electrodynamics. Dependence on reference frame Momentum is a measurable quantity, and the measurement depends on the motion of the observer. For example, if an apple is sitting in a glass elevator that is descending, an outside observer, looking into the elevator, sees the apple moving, so, to that observer, the apple has a non-zero momentum. To someone inside the elevator, the apple does not move, so, it has zero momentum. The two observers each have a frame of reference, in which, they observe motions, and, if the elevator is descending steadily, they will see behavior that is consistent with those same physical laws. Suppose a particle has position x in a stationary frame of reference. From the point of view of another frame of reference, moving at a uniform speed u, the position represented by a primed coordinate changes with time as x equals x minus U T display style x equals x ut. This is called a Galilean transformation. If the particle is moving at speed dx dt equals v in the first frame of reference, in the second it is moving at speed v equals d x d t equals v minus u. Display style v equals frac dx dt equals v u. Since u does not change, the accelerations are the same. A equals d v d t equals a. Display style a equals frac d v d t equals a. Thus, momentum is conserved in both reference frames. Moreover, as long as the force has the same form, in both frames, Newton's second law is unchanged. Forces such as Newtonian gravity, which depend only on the scalar distance between objects, satisfy this criterion. This independence of reference frame is called Newtonian relativity or Galilean invariance. A change of reference frame can, often, simplify calculations of motion. For example, in a collision of two particles, a reference frame can be chosen, where, one particle begins at rest. Another, commonly used reference frame, is the center of mass frame, one that is moving with the center of mass. In this frame, the total momentum is zero. Application to collisions By itself, the law of conservation of momentum is not enough to determine the motion of particles after a collision. Another property of the motion, kinetic energy, must be known. This is not necessarily conserved. 
If it is conserved, the collision is called an elastic collision, if not, it is an inelastic collision. Elastic collisions An elastic collision is one in which no kinetic energy is absorbed in the collision. Perfectly elastic collisions can occur when the objects do not touch each other, as for example in atomic or nuclear scattering where electric repulsion keeps them apart. A slingshot maneuver of a satellite around a planet can also be viewed as a perfectly elastic collision. A collision between two pool balls is a good example of an almost totally elastic collision, due to their high rigidity, but when bodies come in contact there is always some dissipation. A head on elastic collision between two bodies can be represented by velocities in one dimension, along a line passing through the bodies. If the velocities are u1 and u2 before the collision and v1 and v2 after, the equations expressing conservation of momentum and kinetic energy are m1 u 1 plus m 2 u 2 equals m 1 v 1 plus m 2 v 2 1 2 m 1 u 1 2 plus 1 2 m 2 u 2 2 equals 1 2 meters 1 v 1 2 plus 1 2 meters 2 v 2 2 display style begin aligned m underscore 1 u underscore 1 plus m underscore 2 u underscore 2 and equals m underscore 1 v underscore 1 plus m underscore 2 v underscore 2 tfrac 1 2 m underscore 1 u underscore 1 carrot 2 plus tfrac 1 2 m underscore 2 u underscore 2 carrot 2 and equals t TFRAC 1 2 M underscore 1 V underscore 1 carrot 2 plus TFRAC 1 2 M underscore 2 V underscore 2 carrot 2 end aligned a change of reference frame can simplify analysis of a collision. For example, suppose there are two bodies of equal mass m, one stationary and one approaching the other at a speed v as in the figure. The center of mass is moving at speed v, 2 and both bodies are moving towards it at speed v, 2. Because of the symmetry, after the collision both must be moving away from the center of mass at the same speed. Adding the speed of the center of mass to both, we find that the body that was moving is now stopped and the other is moving away at speed v. The bodies have exchanged their velocities. Regardless of the velocities of the bodies, a switch to the center of mass frame leads us to the same conclusion. Therefore, the final velocities are given by v1 equals u2 v2 equals u1. Display style begin aligned v underscore one and equals u underscore two v underscore two and equals u underscore one. End aligned. In general, when the initial velocities are known, the final velocities are given by v1 equals m1 minus m. 2 m 1 plus m 2 u 1 plus 2 m 2 m 1 plus m 2 u 2 Display style v underscore one equals left frac m underscore one m underscore two m underscore one plus m underscore two right u underscore one plus left frac two meters underscore two m underscore one plus m underscore two right u underscore two v two equals m two minus m one M one plus M two U two plus two M one M one plus M two U one 
display style v underscore two equals left frac m underscore two m underscore one m underscore one plus m underscore two right u underscore two plus left frac two meters underscore one m underscore one plus m underscore two right u underscore one if one body has much greater mass than the other, its velocity will be little affected by a collision while the other body will experience a large change. <laughs> inelastic collisions In an inelastic collision, some of the kinetic energy of the colliding bodies is converted into other forms of energy such as heat or sound. Examples include traffic collisions, in which the effect of lost kinetic energy can be seen in the damage to the vehicles, electrons losing some of their energy to atoms as in the Frank-Hertz experiment, and particle accelerators in which the kinetic energy is converted into mass in the form of new particles. In a perfectly inelastic collision such as a bug hitting a windshield, both bodies have the same motion afterwards. If one body is motionless to begin with, the equation for conservation of momentum is m 1 u 1 equals m 1 plus m 2 v display style m underscore 1 u underscore 1 equals left m underscore 1 plus m underscore 2 right v so v equals m 1 m 1 plus m 2 u 1 display style v equals frac m underscore 1 m underscore 1 plus m underscore 2 u underscore 1 in a frame of reference moving at the speed v the objects are brought to rest by the collision and 100% of the kinetic energy is converted to other forms of energy one measure of the inelasticity of the collision is the coefficient of restitution CR, defined as the ratio of relative velocity of separation to relative velocity of approach. In applying this measure to a ball bouncing from a solid surface, this can be easily measured using the following formula C R equals bounce height drop height Display style c underscore text r equals sqrt frac text bounce height text drop height. The momentum and energy equations also apply to the motions of objects that begin together and then move apart. For example, an explosion is the result of a chain reaction that transforms potential energy stored in chemical, mechanical, or nuclear form into kinetic energy, acoustic energy, and electromagnetic radiation. Rockets also make use of conservation of momentum, propellant is thrust outward, gaining momentum, and an equal and opposite momentum is imparted to the rocket. <laughs> Multiple dimensions Real motion has both direction and velocity and must be represented by a vector. In a coordinate system with x, y, z axes, velocity has components vx in the x direction, vy in the y direction, vz in the z direction. The vector is represented by a boldface symbol v equals v x v y v z Display style math bf v equals left v underscore x v underscore y v underscore z right. Similarly, the momentum is a vector quantity and is represented by a boldface symbol p equals p x p y p z. Display style math bf p equals left p underscore x p underscore y p underscore z right. The equations in the previous sections work in vector form if the scalars p and v are replaced by vectors p and v. Each vector equation represents three scalar equations. 
For example, p equals m v. Display style math b f p equals m math b f v represents three equations: p x equals m v x p y equals m v y p z equals m v z. Display style begin aligned p underscore x and equals m v underscore x p underscore y and equals m v underscore y p underscore z and equals m v underscore z. End aligned. The kinetic energy equations are exceptions to the above replacement rule. The equations are still one-dimensional, but each scalar represents the magnitude of the vector, for example, v2 equals vx2 plus vy2 plus vz2. Display style v caret 2 equals v underscore x caret 2 plus v underscore y caret 2 plus v underscore z caret 2. Each vector equation represents three scalar equations. Often coordinates can be chosen so that only two components are needed, as in the figure. Each component can be obtained separately and the results combined to produce a vector result. A simple construction involving the center of mass frame can be used to show that if a stationary elastic sphere is struck by a moving sphere, the two will head off at right angles after the collision, as in the figure. Topic: <laughs> Objects of variable mass. The concept of momentum plays a fundamental role in explaining the behavior of variable mass objects such as a rocket ejecting fuel or a star accreting gas. In analyzing such an object, one treats the object's mass as a function that varies with time, m t. The momentum of the object at time t is therefore p t. m t v t one might then try to invoke Newton's second law of motion by saying that the external force F on the object is related to its momentum P t by F. dp, dt, but this is incorrect, as is the related expression found by applying the product rule to d mv, dt F equals m t d v d t plus v t d m d t display style f equals m t frac d v d t plus v t frac d m d t incorrect this equation does not correctly describe the motion of variable mass objects the correct equation is f equals m t d v d t minus u d m d t display style f equals m t frac d v d t u frac d m d t where u is the velocity of the ejected, accreted mass as seen in the object's rest frame. This is distinct from v, which is the velocity of the object itself as seen in an inertial frame. This equation is derived by keeping track of both the momentum of the object as well as the momentum of the ejected, accreted mass dm. When considered together, the object and the mass dm constitute a closed system in which total momentum is conserved. P t plus d t equals m minus d m v plus d v plus d m v minus u equals m v plus m d v minus u d m equals p t plus m d v minus u d m Display style p t plus d t equals m d m v plus d v plus d m v u equals m v plus m d v u d m equals p t plus m d v u d m. 
Topic: Relativistic. Topic: Lorentz invariance. Newtonian physics assumes that absolute time and space exist outside of any observer, this gives rise to Galilean invariance. It also results in a prediction that the speed of light can vary from one reference frame to another. This is contrary to observation. In the special theory of relativity, Einstein keeps the postulate that the equations of motion do not depend on the reference frame, but assumes that the speed of light c is invariant. As a result, position and time in two reference frames are related by the Lorentz transformation instead of the Galilean transformation. Consider, for example, a reference frame moving relative to another at velocity v in the x direction. The Galilean transformation gives the coordinates of the moving frame as t equals t x equals x minus v t. Display style begin aligned t and equals t x and equals x Vermont end aligned. While the Lorentz transformation gives t equals gamma t minus v x c two x equals gamma x minus v t. Display style begin aligned t and equals gamma left t frac v x c caret two right x and equals gamma left x Vermont right end aligned where gamma is the lorentz fact or gamma equals 1 1 minus v 2 c 2 display style gamma equals frac 1 sqrt 1 v caret 2 c caret 2 newton's second law with mass fixed is not invariant under a lorentz transformation However, it can be made invariant by making the inertial mass m of an object a function of velocity m equals gamma m zero. Display style m equals gamma m underscore zero. M zero is the object's invariant mass, the modified momentum p equals gamma m zero v. Display style math bfp equals gamma m underscore zero math bf v obeys Newton's second law f equals d p d t display style math bf f equals frac d math bf p d t Within the domain of classical mechanics, relativistic momentum closely approximates Newtonian momentum at low velocity. Gamma m zero v is approximately equal to m zero v, the Newtonian expression for momentum. Topic: <laughs> Four vector formulation. In the theory of special relativity, physical quantities are expressed in terms of four vectors that include time as a fourth coordinate along with the three space coordinates. These vectors are generally represented by capital letters, for example R for position. The expression for the four momentum depends on how the coordinates are expressed. Time may be given in its normal units or multiplied by the speed of light so that all the components of the four vector have dimensions of length. If the latter scaling is used, an interval of proper time, tau, defined by c 2 d tau 2 equals c 2 d t 2 minus d x 2 minus d y 2 Minus d z two display style c caret two d tau caret two equals c caret two d t caret two d x caret two die caret two d z caret two is invariant under Lorentz transformations. In this expression and in what follows, the plus minus 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 metric signature has been used. Different authors use different conventions. Mathematically this invariance can be ensured in one of two ways, by treating the four vectors as Euclidean vectors and multiplying time by square root minus 1, or by keeping time a real quantity and embedding the vectors in a Minkowski space. In a Minkowski space, the scalar product of two four vectors u topic 
U0, U1, U2, U3 and V. V0, V1, V2, V3 is defined as U V equals U 0 V 0 minus U 1 V 1 minus U 2 V 2 minus U 3 V 3 Display style Math BF U C D O T Math BF V equals U underscore zero V underscore zero U underscore one V underscore one U underscore two V underscore two U underscore three V underscore three In all the coordinate systems, the contravariant relativistic four velocity is defined by U D R D Tau equals gamma d r d t display style math bf u equiv frac d math bf r d tau equals gamma frac d math bf r d t and the contravariant for momentum is p equals m 0 u Display style math bf p equals m underscore zero math bf u, where m zero is the invariant mass. If r equals court x y z in Minkowski space, then p equals gamma m zero c v equals m c p. Display style math bf p equals gamma m underscore zero left c math bf v right equals mic math bf p. Using Einstein's mass energy equivalence E equals mic two, this can be rewritten as p equals E c p. Display style math bf p equals left frac E c math bf p right Thus, conservation of four momentum is Lorentz invariant and implies conservation of both mass and energy. The magnitude of the momentum four vector is equal to m zero c p two equals p p equals gamma two m zero two c two Minus v two equals m zero c two display style math bf p caret two equals math bf p c d o t math bf p equals gamma caret two m underscore zero caret two c caret two v caret two equals m underscore zero c caret two and is invariant across all reference frames. The relativistic energy momentum relationship holds even for massless particles such as photons. By setting m0 equals 0, it follows that E equals P C display style E equals P C in a game of relativistic billiards. If a stationary particle is hit by a moving particle in an elastic collision, the paths formed by the two afterwards will form an acute angle. This is unlike the non-relativistic case where they travel at right angles. The four momentum of a planar wave can be related to a wave four vector p equals e c p equals k equals omega. C K display style math BF P equals left frac e C VEC math BF P right equals HBAR math BF K equals HBAR left frac Omega C VEC math BF K right for a particle the relationship between temporal components e 
equals h omega is the Planck Einstein relation, and the relation between spatial components, P equals h k, describes a de Broglie matter wave. Generalized Newton's laws can be difficult to apply to many kinds of motion because the motion is limited by constraints. For example, a bead on an abacus is constrained to move along its wire and a pendulum bob is constrained to swing at a fixed distance from the pivot. Many such constraints can be incorporated by changing the normal Cartesian coordinates to a set of generalized coordinates that may be fewer in number. Refined mathematical methods have been developed for solving mechanics problems in generalized coordinates. They introduce a generalized momentum, also known as the canonical or conjugate momentum, that extends the concepts of both linear momentum and angular momentum. To distinguish it from generalized momentum, the product of mass and velocity is also referred to as mechanical, kinetic or kinematic momentum. The two main methods are described below. <laughs> Lagrangian mechanics in Lagrangian mechanics, a Lagrangian is defined as the difference between the kinetic energy T and the potential energy V L equals T minus V equals T V. If the generalized coordinates are represented as a vector Q equals Q1, Q2, Qn and time differentiation is represented by a dot over the variable then the equations of motion known as the lagrange or euler lagrange equations are a set of n equations d d t l q j minus l q j equals 0 Display style frac d dt left frac partial math call l partial dot q underscore j right frac partial math call l partial q underscore j equals zero. If a coordinate chi is not a Cartesian coordinate, the associated generalized momentum component pi does not necessarily have the dimensions of linear momentum. Even if chi is a Cartesian coordinate, π will not be the same as the mechanical momentum if the potential depends on velocity. Some sources represent the kinematic momentum by the symbol π. In this mathematical framework, a generalized momentum is associated with the generalized coordinates. Its components are defined as p j equals l q j. Display style p underscore j equals frac partial math call l partial dot q underscore j. Each component p j is said to be the conjugate momentum for the coordinate q j. Now, if a given coordinate chi does not appear in the Lagrangian, although its time derivative might appear, then p j equals constant. Display style p underscore j equals text constant. This is the generalization of the conservation of momentum. Even if the generalized coordinates are just the ordinary spatial coordinates, the conjugate momenta are not necessarily the ordinary momentum coordinates. An example is found in the section on electromagnetism. Topic: <laughs> Hamiltonian mechanics. In Hamiltonian mechanics, the Lagrangian a function of generalized coordinates and their derivatives is replaced by a Hamiltonian that is a function of generalized coordinates and momentum. The Hamiltonian is defined as h q p t equals p q minus l q q t Display style math call h left math bf q math bf p t right equals math bf p c d o t dot math bf q math call l left math bf q dot math bf q t right, where the momentum is obtained by differentiating the Lagrangian as above. The Hamiltonian equations of motion are 
Q I equals H P I minus P I equals H Q I minus L T equals D H D T display style begin aligned dot Q underscore I and equals F R A C partial math call H partial P underscore I dot P underscore I and equals F R A C partial math call H partial Q underscore I F R A C partial math call L partial T and equals F R A C D math call H D T end aligned as in Lagrangian mechanics if a generalized coordinate does not appear in the Hamiltonian its conjugate momentum component is conserved. <inaudible> Symmetry and conservation Conservation of momentum is a mathematical consequence of the homogeneity shift symmetry of space position in space as the canonical conjugate quantity to momentum. That is, conservation of momentum is a consequence of the fact that the laws of physics do not depend on position, this is a special case of Noether's theorem. Electromagnetic Particle in a field In Maxwell's equations, the forces between particles are mediated by electric and magnetic fields. The electromagnetic force, Lorentz force on a particle with charge Q due to a combination of electric field E and magnetic field B is F equals Q E plus V times B Display style math bff equals q math bf e plus math bf v times math bf b in SI units. It has an electric potential phi r t and magnetic vector potential a r t. In the non-relativistic regime, its generalized momentum is p equals m v plus q a. Display style math bf p equals m math bf math bf v plus q math bf a. While in relativistic mechanics, this becomes p equals gamma m v plus q a. Display style math bf p equals gamma m math bf math bf v plus q math bf a. Topic: Conservation. In Newtonian mechanics, the law of conservation of momentum can be derived from the law of action and reaction, which states that every force has a reciprocating equal and opposite force. Under some circumstances, moving charged particles can exert forces on each other in non-opposite directions. Nevertheless, the combined momentum of the particles and the electromagnetic field is conserved. Topic: Vacuum. The Lorentz force imparts a momentum to the particle, so by Newton's second law, the particle must impart a momentum to the electromagnetic fields. In a vacuum, the momentum per unit volume is g equals one mu zero c two e times b. Display style math bf g equals frac one mu underscore zero c caret two math bf e times math bf b, where mu zero is the vacuum permeability and c is the speed of light. The momentum density is proportional to the pointing vector s, which gives the directional rate of energy transfer per unit area. G equals s c two Display style math bf g equals frac math bf s c caret two. 
If momentum is to be conserved over the volume 5 over a region Q, changes in the momentum of matter through the Lorentz force must be balanced by changes in the momentum of the electromagnetic field and outflow of momentum. If P mech is the momentum of all the particles in Q, and the particles are treated as a continuum, then Newton's second law gives d p mech d t equals q rho e plus j times b d v Display style frac d math bf p underscore text mech dt equals i i i n t limits underscore q left row math bf e plus math bf j times math bf b right dv. The electromagnetic momentum is p field equals one mu zero c two Q E times B D V display style math BF P underscore text field equals frac 1 mu underscore 0 C carrot 2 I I I N T limits underscore Q math BF E times math BF B D V and the equation for conservation of each component I of the momentum is D D T P mech plus P field I equals sigma J T I J N J D sigma Display style frac d dt left math bf p underscore text mech plus math bf p underscore text field right underscore i equals i i n t limits underscore sigma left sum limits underscore j t underscore i j n underscore j right d sigma. The term on the right is an integral over the surface area sigma of the surface sigma representing momentum flow into and out of the volume, and nj is a component of the surface normal of S. The quantity Tij is called the Maxwell stress tensor, defined as T I J E0 E I E J minus 1 2 Delta I J E two plus one mu zero B I B J minus one two Delta I J B two Display style T underscore I J equiv Epsilon underscore zero left E underscore I E underscore J FRAC one two Delta underscore I J E carrot two right plus FRAC one mu underscore zero left B underscore I B underscore J FRAC one two Delta underscore I J B carrot two right Topic Media The above results are for the microscopic Maxwell equations, applicable to electromagnetic forces in a vacuum or on a very small scale in media. It is more difficult to define momentum density in media because the division into electromagnetic and mechanical is arbitrary. The definition of electromagnetic momentum density is modified to G equals 1 C 2 E times H equals S C two display style math BF G equals frac one C carrot two math BF E times math BF H equals frac math BF S C carrot two, where the H field H is related to the B field and the magnetization M by B equals mu 
0 h plus m display style math bf b equals mu underscore 0 left math bf h plus math bf m right the electromagnetic stress tensor depends on the properties of the media topic quantum mechanical In quantum mechanics, momentum is defined as a self-adjoint operator on the wave function. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle defines limits on how accurately the momentum and position of a single observable system can be known at once. In quantum mechanics, position and momentum are conjugate variables. For a single particle described in the position basis the momentum operator can be written as P equals I equals Minus i display style math bf p equals h bar over i nabla equals i h bar nabla, where is the gradient operator? H is the reduced Planck constant, and i is the imaginary unit. This is a commonly encountered form of the momentum operator, though the momentum operator in other bases can take other forms. For example, in momentum space, the momentum operator is represented as p psi P equals P psi P display style math bf P psi P equals P psi P, where the operator P acting on a wave function psi P yields that wave function multiplied by the value P in an analogous fashion to the way that the position operator acting on a wave function psi x yields that wave function multiplied by the value x. For both massive and massless objects, relativistic momentum is related to the phase constant beta display style beta by p equals beta display style p equals h bar beta electromagnetic radiation including visible light, ultraviolet light and radio waves is carried by photons. Even though photons the particle aspect of light have no mass, they still carry momentum. This leads to applications such as the solar sail. The calculation of the momentum of light within dielectric media is somewhat controversial see Abraham-Minkowski controversy. <laughs> In deformable bodies and fluids Topic: Conservation in a continuum. In fields such as fluid dynamics and solid mechanics, it is not feasible to follow the motion of individual atoms or molecules. Instead, the materials must be approximated by a continuum in which there is a particle or fluid parcel at each point that is assigned the average of the properties of atoms in a small region nearby. In particular, it has a density ρ and velocity v that depend on time t and position r. The momentum per unit volume is ρ v. Consider a column of water in hydrostatic equilibrium. All the forces on the water are in balance and the water is motionless. On any given drop of water, two forces are balanced. The first is gravity, which acts directly on each atom and molecule inside. The gravitational force per unit volume is rho g, where g is the gravitational acceleration. The second force is the sum of all the forces exerted on its surface by the surrounding water. The force from below is greater than the force from above by just the amount needed to balance gravity. The normal force per unit area is the pressure p. The average force per unit volume inside the droplet is the gradient of the pressure, so the force balance equation is minus p plus rho g equals 0 display style nabla p plus rho math bf g equals 0 if the forces are not balanced the droplet accelerates this acceleration is not simply the partial derivative vt because the fluid in a given volume changes with time instead the material derivative is needed d d t T plus V display style frac d dt equiv frac partial partial t plus math bf v c dot bold symbol nabla. 
applied to any physical quantity, the material derivative includes the rate of change at a point and the changes due to advection as fluid is carried past the point. Per unit volume, the rate of change in momentum is equal to rho dv, dt. This is equal to the net force on the droplet. Forces that can change the momentum of a droplet include the gradient of the pressure and gravity, as above. In addition, surface forces can deform the droplet. In the simplest case, a shear stress tau, exerted by a force parallel to the surface of the droplet, is proportional to the rate of deformation or strain rate. Such a shear stress occurs if the fluid has a velocity gradient because the fluid is moving faster on one side than another. If the speed in the x direction varies with z, the tangential force in direction x per unit area normal to the z direction is sigma z x equals minus mu v x z display style sigma underscore text z x equals mu frac partial v underscore x partial z, where mu is the viscosity. This is also a flux, or flow per unit area, of x momentum through the surface, including the effect of viscosity. The momentum balance equations for the incompressible flow of a Newtonian fluid are ρ d v d t equals minus p plus mu two v plus Rho G Display style row FRAC D Math BF V D T equals bold symbol Nabla P plus mu Nabla carrot two Math BF V plus Rho Math BF G These are known as the Navier Stokes equations. The momentum balance equations can be extended to more general materials, including solids. For each surface with normal in direction I and force in direction J, there is a stress component sigma IJ. The nine components make up the Cauchy stress tensor sigma, which includes both pressure and shear. The local conservation of momentum is expressed by the Cauchy momentum equation. Rho d v d t equals sigma plus f. Display style rho frac d math bf v dt equals bold symbol nabla c dot bold symbol sigma plus math bf f, where f is the body force. The Cauchy momentum equation is broadly applicable to deformations of solids and liquids. The relationship between the stresses and the strain rate depends on the properties of the material. See types of viscosity. Acoustic waves A disturbance in a medium gives rise to oscillations, or waves, that propagate away from their source. In a fluid, small changes in pressure P can often be described by the acoustic wave equation 2 P T 2 equals C 2 2 P Display style frac partial caret two p partial t caret two equals c caret two nabla caret two p, where c is the speed of sound. In a solid, similar equations can be obtained for propagation of pressure p waves and shear s waves. The flux or transport per unit area of a momentum component rho v j by a velocity v is equal to rho v j v j. In the linear approximation that leads to the above acoustic equation, the time average of this flux is zero. However, nonlinear effects can give rise to a nonzero average. It is possible for momentum flux to occur even though the wave itself does not have a mean momentum. History of the concept In about 530 AD, working in Alexandria, Byzantine philosopher John Philoponus developed a concept of momentum in his commentary to Aristotle's physics. Aristotle claimed that everything that is moving must be kept moving by something. For example, a thrown ball must be kept moving by motions of the air. Most writers continued to accept Aristotle's theory until the time of Galileo, but a few were skeptical. 
Philoponus pointed out the absurdity in Aristotle's claim that motion of an object is promoted by the same air that is resisting its passage. He proposed instead that an impetus was imparted to the object in the act of throwing it. Ibn Sina also known by his Latinized name Avicenna read Philoponus and published his own theory of motion in the Book of Healing in 1020. He agreed that an impetus is imparted to a projectile by the thrower, but unlike Philoponus, who believed that it was a temporary virtue that would decline even in a vacuum, he viewed it as a persistent, requiring external forces such as air resistance to dissipate it. The work of Philoponus, and possibly that of Ibn Sina, was read and refined by the European philosophers Peter Alevi and Jean Buridan. Buridan, who in about 1350 was made rector of the University of Paris, referred to impetus being proportional to the weight times the speed. Moreover, Buridan's theory was different from his predecessors in that he did not consider impetus to be self-dissipating, asserting that a body would be arrested by the forces of air resistance and gravity which might be opposing its impetus. René Descartes believed that the total quantity of motion Latin, quantitas motus in the universe is conserved, where the quantity of motion is understood as the product of size and speed. This should not be read as a statement of the modern law of momentum, since he had no concept of mass as distinct from weight and size, and more importantly he believed that it is speed rather than velocity that is conserved. So for Descartes if a moving object were to bounce off a surface, changing its direction but not its speed, there would be no change in its quantity of motion. Galileo, in his Two New Sciences, used the Italian word impedo to similarly describe Descartes' quantity of motion. Leibniz, in his «Discourse on Metaphysics», gave an argument against Descartes' construction of the conservation of the «quantity of motion», using an example of dropping blocks of different sizes different distances. He points out that force is conserved but quantity of motion, construed as the product of size and speed of an object, is not conserved. The first correct statement of the law of conservation of momentum was by English mathematician John Wallace in his 1670 work, Mechanica sieve de motu, Tractatus Geometricus. The initial state of the body, either of rest or of motion, will persist. And, if the force is greater than the resistance, motion will result. Wallace uses momentum and vis for force. Newton's Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, when it was first published in 1687, showed a similar casting around for words to use for the mathematical momentum. His definition too defines quantitas motus quantity of motion, as arising from the velocity and quantity of matter conjointly, which identifies it as momentum. Thus, when in Law 2 he refers to mutatio motus, change of motion. Being proportional to the force impressed, he is generally taken to mean momentum and not motion. It remained only to assign a standard term to the quantity of motion. The first use of «momentum» in its proper mathematical sense is not clear but by the time of Jennings' miscellanea in 1721, five years before the final edition of Newton's Principia Mathematica, momentum m or «quantity of motion» was being defined for students as «a rectangle». The product of Q and V, where Q is quantity of material and V is velocity. S T equals equals C also.